Welcome to the Tickmill Update. I'm Kiana Daniel, the founder of the Investiva movement. On Monday, oil futures gained more than 1% on hints that the OPEC and its allies may agree to further cut oil supply and on indications that oil uh, there's going to be a stronger demand for oil from China. Meanwhile, the Aussie manufacturing output hit a three-year low and job ads fell 1.7% in November. On Wednesday, Australia will release its GDP numbers for third quarter. Now, today I'm looking at the Aussie dollar pair, which just confirmed a break above the daily Chimoku Cloud on Tuesday's Asian session after previously attempting to move along with the downtrend. Last week, we saw the pair break below the daily Chimoku Cloud, indicating the pair may be moving towards the 0.6691 support level to form a triple bottom bullish reversal chart pattern. However, that downtrend has now been cut short by the recent spike in the Aussie dollar pair. You may also be asking why on earth did the Aussie dollar pair move up after Australia released such negative economic data? The reason lays with the US dollar, which had an exceptionally bad day across the board. That's why compared to the losing greenback, the Aussie actually came on top as a winner. Now, these are the types of sudden changes that makes Forex ultra high risk. We still have more data from Australia to look forward to this week. So until then, I won't rely on the recent bullish Ichimoku signal for the Aussie dollar pair and wait to see if the US dollar recovers towards the end of the week. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates tomorrow.